This is an updated version of the uh, Edge Node explanation where I have corrected some things that I had wrong in the earlier version. This is going to be about the Theta Edge Node, and there's two sides to this. The front side I'm going to refer to as the Edge Caching side. And over here on the left are the different pieces of it. The watch is, if you want to watch, there's a whole slew of channels that you can choose to watch. And you just scroll through the list here and pick the ones that you want. Up here, Discover shows you all of the channels that are there. And Following shows you the channels that you have elected to follow so that you can get to what's of interest to you quickly. So if you decide to watch any given channel, for example, if I click on this one, it pops up down here. That heart indicates that I'm following this channel. And then this is a way that you can donate T-Fuel to that channel if you like their content. And then up here would show how much T-Fuel you've earned by watching one of these channels. The way you earn T-Fuel from watching a channel is the T-Fuel that is paid to you can come from advertisers that have placed ads on this particular content. And there are other ways that T-Fuel can be fed out to people that are watching it. So uh, I'm going to get out of this and go over here to the edge caching side here there's a couple of different ways that you can earn t-fuel on the uh, edge caching side this first one here is if you are relaying video and right now it says i've got no jobs but if your edge node relays video you earn t-fuel for doing that some amount of t-fuel for every megabyte that you relay so if you're living in a, a larger more densely populated area you probably have a lot of jobs that will be running the next way that you can earn t fuel is through this piece here which is called edge compute the primary job it runs is called folding at home it's protein folding research that's using your cpu to uh, help with their research and their calculations and this edge compute can be used for other things but this is the primary job that more or less runs 24 7 unless a, another type of job should come in like they do video transcoding which is a 1.1 billion dollar industry they are actively going after their share of that industry by adding that capability to the edge compute function when it comes up with a video encoding job, it breaks in and uh, interrupts the folding at home, does the video transcoding job. Like here, it shows a whole history here, but the most recent ones are at the top. So this one has completed and it earned 1.0302 T-Fuel for doing that video transcoding job. Right now, the only jobs for video transcoding that it is doing is for the Theta to TV and of course eventually they're going to open that up to any company that needs video transcoding will be able to use the Theta Edge compute network to get that done so that could be YouTube or it could be Netflix or Hulu or any of those platforms they all need video transcoding done so those jobs will become fairly plentiful when they open it up for that so up here it shows you how much T fuel that you've earned it doesn't split them out separately so if you earn from the edge cache that goes into this bucket and if you earn from the edge compute it also goes into that bucket it doesn't split them out separately and now for the t-fuel staking interface you would click here and then of course this is in beta so they refer to it as pre elite edge node in here you can stake t-fuel 10,000 minimum and the maximum is 500,000 and then it shows you your pending earnings which continue to accumulate through the month and then on the third or fourth of the following month it will pay out all of your accumulated T-Fuel earnings. Okay let's talk about T-Fuel staker rewards. The first thing I want to get out of the way is 
Under this beta version, frankly, the T-Fuel staking rewards suck, but you do get some, and it's free T-Fuel for staking, so you may as well be staking. Now, they will get much, much better once they release the full Elite Edge node with Mainnet 3.0. Now that I've got that out of the way, let's talk about how your T-Fuel staking rewards are calculated. There is a pot of T-Fuel that is set aside for paying T-Fuel staking rewards. The amount that you get of that pot is proportional to the amount that you have staked as a percentage of the total amount that is staked. A simple example would be 100,000 T-Fuel are staked. You have 10,000 T-Fuel staked. So your stake is 10% of the total stake. Therefore, you would receive 10% of the T-Fuel that is set aside for paying T-Fuel staking rewards. It's as simple as that. So once Mainnet 3.0 is released, the amount of T-Fuel that is set aside for T-Fuel staking rewards on a daily basis is going to be roughly 50 to 55 times as much as is set aside during the beta. During the beta, they have placed a limit of 10,000 T-Fuel per day. They've actually expressed it as 300,000 per month. So if you divide that by 30, that gives you the daily amount of T-Fuel. So under this beta version, you are receiving your staking rewards out of a very limited pot of T-Fuel for the purpose of paying those rewards. But once they release Mainnet 3.0, as I said, that will go up by about 50 to 55 times. So whatever you're receiving now, assuming the total amount staked remains the same, your T-Fuel staking rewards will increase by about 50x. Okay, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.